It is the dawn of a new day in England, a new era of peace. The country stands unified, free from the rebellion of years past. While military triumphs abroad have made England a power unrivaled among the nations of the world. Towns flourish in this time of growth and prosperity, becoming influential centers of trade. And the people grow strong under a firm but gentle yoke. And in this magical realm, not one slave's mind harbors rebellion, not one peasant's dreams bend murderous, and the lips of every lord affirm as king the man who thieved the crown. You would have us believe this rot, John Lackland. Come, John. Surely you must have known we would require proof of Richard's death before we'd give consent to have you crowned king. I'd sooner crown a cockerel than this liar! King Richard languishes in a foreign cell, awaiting ransom still. All England knows his brother John's intent is not to free him. What proof is there that Richard lives? We have John's word that he does not. And even if Richard were alive, who among yeah. us would have his return? Long sold? Richard's fate is of no consequence. The fate of England, however, is. And while I live, this clumsy child will not be seated upon England's throne! Who then, Wolf Freak the Wild? You? Better I than you, Mark de Rampain! Let it come to this, then! Guards! These men are traitors. We would they were executed. Made it right. But wait, wait! What is the meaning of this? No! 